A simple explanation of the second law of thermodynamics is to imagine that the universe is made up of hot things in cold space. And if you wait long enough, all the heat will go out into the cold until the temperature is so cold that molecules cannot move, therefore all life must be destroyed. It's called the universal heat death law. And what that means to the average person is that all of our life sciences can only be about species heading toward extinction. We know now for sure that the understanding of the second law in that context is, has collapsed, well and truly collapsed. And there's great energies involved in the evolution of consciousness. And unless we understand that, and that consciousness goes to infinity, not to extinction, we cannot get new energies to replace fossil fuels. It's very difficult now for the average person to think of a better world when they look across the road at a banker getting $30 million a year, a pyramids of money, 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 and the consequences if they don't get their kid into school to learn how to cope. And the kid in school can only learn to cope by being just as greedy and, and as aggressive as, as the banker in his own small way. We are locked into a deadly cycle. If you want to relax and take a look at where we're going, we need to change the physics laws. Then, very, very quickly, you've got the whole universe in front of you. And that's what was the promise of, of science in the beginning. People talk that we're going nuclear. Hmm. The ancient Greeks warned that if we become obsessed as we are now with what they called the god of Plato's chaos physics, then the evil of unformed matter within the atom would destroy us. If we go atomic, we are going to fulfill th th that prediction. Sacred geometry was about eternal ideas, the eternal world of the gods, or the geometry of pi for pi r squared goes forever. These ideas are forbidden by the second law because we are not allowed to survive the universal heat death. We can't go to infinity. Well, we bloody well can go to infinity. We are linked to fractal logic. There's no way we're not. So now we're ready to start to work out our destiny. The practical reason right at the moment that the people must understand that the second law has collapsed is because the, the original science was about human emotions about love, justice, wisdom and beauty. All equations and all calculations in our culture must obey the second law. In particular, the economic global rationalism, which is taking us to nowhere. <laughs>